Hi there! Today I'm going to show you something really interesting. I have uh, had a project recently to tackle with the, the Flask module of Python and I figured I would uh, like to write a little web server which can serve as my always online resume and I would like to show you how I have done that. So basically, what we need to do is create a folder. We will call it at the moment CV demo. In this folder, we are going to need some folders, which is uh, the first one is the static. The second folder is the templates. Inside the static folder, we would like to create a CSS folder and yeah that's about it we would also like to create a new file which is going to be called cvdemo.py in this cvdemo.py all we would like to do is import from the flask module the flask class we say that the app it was the flask and the current name of this module and all we would like to define is a default context root which is going to be the forward slash and if this context root is hit then we would like to call the function index and return with the render template function, the index.html. And this is going to be achieved if we import the render template function. So <coughs> if we would like to test it, we could say that if name equals main. Then we would like to, let's say, app.run debug equals true. Host is going to be the 0, .0, 0, 0, which means that um, if your host has multiple interfaces, then it can respond, the web server can respond to traffic coming from and to any interface. The port must be greater than uh, 1024 because ports below are reserved for let's say system only use and we will say that the 8080 is going to be our port. Let's save it and the next one we would like to do is to populate the index.css so basically these are just let me copy paste it for you some definitions on how this site should look like as you can see it has some images and stuff like that this is not really important from our exp uh, from our perspective what is important is the index.html so let me paste it for you so as you can see using flask uh, is a bit different from the html programming perspective because normally you would say that the href tag specifies the location of the index file and the logo file and so on alright and uh, if you are using flask you are using the Jinja 2 template system and in Jinja 2 there are some rules on how to include let's say index.css or just let's say css files or images or other resources so basically this is going to look like this name of the per 
person full name. So it will start with a full name. It will say an introduction about me and it will also provide some work experience and skill sets and education and languages and an achievements field. All right, what we need to do is, as you can see, I have two logos which are, let's say, included in this HTML. So let me just copy it inside the CSS folder. I would say that this is the logo.png. <coughs> And this okay. CSS. Okay. Let's move it uh, folder higher. So this is going to be in the static. So for it. So logo on the PNG and the letter that png. I will try something I have not yet tried before. Let's say I would like to copy it here. CV demo static. Let's just delete it and copy it from static. So, there you go. What we need to do now is navigate here to this folder and issue this command. If everything is right, then we should see the server starting up. So this will be okay now. Okay, once the server is up and running, all you have to do is open up your browser and navigate to this URL. It should be replaced with the local host. And it's not loading. But why is that? So here we have the index at HTML. Here we have the logo files. Here we have the index. CSS, here we have the static folder, mm -hmm. cool. Uh, it had some kind of browser issues recently, the Chrome started to malfunction. So basically what you need to do is fill in these information so you can customize this template CV. And here you can see that there is a little bit of introduction, the, the name of the person, the company, position, start, then date of its working status, skill sets, education, name of the schools, language, achievements, so it's, it's a well, quite simple CV, but it's an online, when, I mean it can be modified with a little bit of trick to be available every time, all year round. So what we need to do is and I must say this is not a paid promotion or something like that. So 
we need to register to this site called Python anywhere. And here I have already registered. It's called CV demo. I insert my password and I'm going to show you how you can upload these files. So basically all we have to do is open a new console we are going to check our present working directory and we will recreate the same folder structure which we have on our local machine so we will create a static folder we will create a templates folder we will navigate into the templates folder and create with the nano the index.html file and what we need to do is select everything and paste it Control x and y and there we have the templates.index.html and after this we will have to create the index.css under the static folder index.css and again copy everything and paste everything and yeah it seems to be cool the last thing we need to do is say we want to create the cv demo.py what you need to copy is copy everything except this if block because the Python everywhere will take care of running your application and let's leave the console we should then refresh this dashboard And where the hell are these files I have just created? Okay, then let's do it again. So, this is going to be called a CV demo. And this is going to be called static. And this is going to be called templates. <laughs> this is going to be called CV demo that file and now copy save we go back to the dashboard okay so this is getting better and better now we create the CSS directory and we go back on level high and I say we upload these two files. Okay. Now we 
inside the CSS folder, you create an index.css file. And just upload it. After that, we go to the templates, create the index.html file. Come here, save, and yeah. So this seems to be fine. Let's say we want to run that. We select the back, the latest and greatest. And this is going to be called CV demo. Okay. If you register to this site and you want to have a free account, you need to log in every three months to ensure that your account is not blocked or locked. So, here we have this. And let's go back to the dashboard. I think I have found the problem's solution. All right. Now let's go and reload it because when I have created all those files, yes, it's working. I should have created the cvdemo.py a little bit later, maybe after I have created this project. So, what happened now is that you have a always available, reachable online resume, which you can just send to any bounty hunter that wants your head, or at least wants you to go and work for the company that hired him or her. And yeah, so what you can also do here is look around and see that it is basically the dashboard. On the dashboard you can see this counter which shows how much CPU usage you have produced in the following or the current day. And after that you reached this maximum cap. You will have to wait for uh, 24 hours duration to pass and then you can all start working again. So that was all I wanted to show you. I hope you liked it and leave a like and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching.